Good morning. Good morning. Let's try to get a little closer. My family moved to Lock Heights when I was 10 or 11 years old. I started Sunday school when I was 11 in East Bangor at Grace Church. I sang in the junior choir, and when I was confirmed, I moved over to the senior choir. Then when we was uh, making plans to get married, Tony wanted to get married in his church, so I dropped out and uh, joined St. Joseph's Episcopal Church in West Bangor. We were, both, we were married there, and our both boys were baptized there. However, I never felt, felt at home there like I do here. When it came time for the boys to go to Sunday school, I rejoined and Tony came with me. The day the vote was taken as to whether or not we should merge, I left home intending to vote no. Something that was said that day changed my mind and I voted yes. Then we had three chapels and they were, North Bangor was a, around 8 o'clock the service, Johnsonville was about 9.30 and East Bangor was around 11. The pastor was really busy at that time. We went to make uh, uh, plans to build the church here and we looked into land and discovered land was very expensive. However, Johnsonville owned uh, 14 acres, I think it was. So we decided we would build here. It didn't set well with some people and they left. But that was okay, we went right on. Then we incorporated from each of the, four uh, the three buildings we have the picture that hangs on the wall outside the uh, boiler room. That came from North Bangor and it hung back of the altar. The chandelier and sconces out in the narthex, they came from Johnsonville. And the picture window over the uh, narthex doors there were the entrance, they came from East Bangor. The organ was dismantled and brought out here piece by piece and re-put back together again. So by now the organ is 125 years old because it was 75 years old when we moved. Then we had no home for the pastor, the Zeisers were coming here, uh, so we put them in an apartment downtown until the parsonage was built. Then later on, we put the addition on the back end and made the social hall much bigger. Thank you. Thank you, Betty, for uh, telling us some history of, of how we got to where we are today. And it's been a blessing having you and Tony as part of our community for so many years.